Sean, what are you doing here? I thought you said you never wanted to see me again. Believe me, Harvey, I wouldn't be here if Andrew Malik hadn't just had me arrested. What? He's claiming we conspired to swap Mike Ross for William Sutter. I'm here to get our story straight. You want our story straight? I'm representing you as of right now. Representing me? What are you talking about? You wearing a wire, Sean? You think I'm here to entrap you? Don't act like that's not possible. You had me wear a wire to nail Charles Forsman, and now you're coming to me out of the blue, accusing me of colluding with you. You know what, Harvey? You want to pat me down, feel free, if that's what you think of me. What I think, Sean, is you need to take me up on my offer. And how's that gonna look, you repping me when we've been accused of colluding? I don't give a shit what it looks like. You hire me, we can talk about anything, and it's not admissible. All right, Harvey, you're my lawyer. Now let's talk about the story. Your Honor, this is outrageous. Sean Cahill can't be represented by Harvey Specter. They're using attorney-client privilege to get away with the conspiracy they engaged in in the first place. Not engaged in, are accused of engaging in. And how is that any different than a joint defense agreement? I'll tell you how it's different. You're setting this thing up for a mistrial, because when I win, that's exactly what he'll ask for. Your Honor, I will resign as Mr. Cahill's attorney right now if he hands this case over to someone else. But he won't, because no one else will touch it. I'm not walking away from a case that I've been building for eight months. And if you're so sure we did this, why don't you come in after me. Because I focus on the bigger fish. That's a load of crap. You're not charging me because you know it'll look like a vendetta. All right, that's enough. Are you willing to waive your right to a mistrial, Mr. Cahill? I am. Well, then I'm afraid he has a right to his counsel of choice, Mr. Malik, and I want discovery documents in his offices in an hour. Hey, you think he's going to get you out of this? But he doesn't care about you, he only cares about himself. If we're supposed to be sticking together in this, what the hell are you doing volunteering to drop me? Sean, I did it to make a point. He was never going to take me up on it. And if he did, I'd be in this alone. So next time you feel like freelance, I want you to run it by me first. OK, I will. Now let's get back to the office, because if I know Malik, there's going to be some kind of curveball in that discovery. We got a problem. You're damn right we do. Was Mike Ross really dumb enough to straight up tell his cellmate what we did? He wasn't dumb, Sean. We needed Kevin to trust us. And that's another thing you should have run by me. Because now I have to go tell that ex-con if he doesn't recant, I'm going to slap him with a parole violation and he's going back to prison. And you do that, Malik will get you for witness tampering. I'm not going to sit on my hands and just do nothing. You're right. You're not. Malik went over my head. I think it's time we went over his. Why don't you bring some of that SEC pressure to bear on him? I get it. This is a vendetta. And when it goes south, it's gonna look as bad for Malik's superiors as it does for him. In the meantime, I'll keep waiting through this shit because something doesn't smell right. What do you mean? I mean, the Sutter case was in the public record and so was Mike's release. So why is Malik bringing it up years later? I don't know, but the person that can shed light on that very question is Kevin Miller. Harvey, can't say I'm surprised to see you. I may not be surprising you, Kevin, but you sure as hell surprised me. Look, if you want to call me an asshole, you might as well get to it. I'm not here to yell at you. I'm here to find out what the hell are you doing playing ball with Andy Malik? Harvey, he said if he convicted Cahill and we didn't cooperate, he'd void the deal we made, Jill would go to prison, and I'd go with her. Let me guess. He gave you immunity in exchange for talking. And he made it contingent on me not warning you about it. I'm sorry, Harvey. But I was backed into a corner. You should have come to me anyway. You owe me that much. I know I owe you. That's why I didn't give Malik everything. He has my affidavit, but he doesn't have proof. The recording I made of Sutter. I didn't tell him it exists, and I'm not going to. But if you're here to get me to change my story, that's as far as my OU goes. Then answer one question. We did this years ago. Why didn't Sutter go to Malik until now? That's the thing. I don't know who went to Malik, but it wasn't him. How can you know that? Because Sutter died eight months ago. 